Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into some of the most flummoxing archaeological finds that have left experts scratching their heads. From mysterious carvings to ancient rituals, these discoveries are sure to captivate your imagination. So buckle up, grab your explorer's hat, and get ready to journey into the heart of these ancient mysteries. Our first stop takes us to the Balearic Islands, off the coast of Spain. Here on the island of Menorca lies a prehistoric site called Salga Romani. This place is a time capsule, dotted with massive stone towers known as taliotes. But it's the T-shaped stone structure, the taula, that really gets people talking. Archaeologists believe the taula, along with the surrounding taliots, were part of some kind of communal or ritual complex. Was it a place of worship? A marker of some kind? The answers, like the stones themselves, are ancient and silent. Next, we journey to the heart of Andalusia, Spain, to the town of Cabra. Beneath the sun-drenched streets lies a hidden sanctuary dedicated to the enigmatic god Mithras. Mithraism, a mystery cult popular amongst Roman soldiers and merchants, was shrouded in secrecy. The sanctuary, dating back to the second century AD, is filled with sculptures, inscriptions, and evidence of elaborate feasts. The sanctuary's layout, with its underground chambers and symbolic carvings, speaks to the secretive nature of Mithraic worship. What secrets did these initiates share in the flickering lamplight of this hidden sanctuary? From the sun-drenched shores of Spain, we find ourselves transported to the banks of Lawrence Brook in New Jersey. This seemingly ordinary creek holds a secret that has baffled treasure hunters and cryptographers for over a century. Carved into the rocks along the water's edge are a series of enigmatic symbols, ciphers, and cryptograms. Local lore claims the carvers were two men, Elias Sudam and Monroe Danbury, and that these markings are a map. Despite countless attempts to decipher the carvings, their true meaning remains elusive. Are they a treasure map, a coded message, or simply the work of bored teenagers? The mystery of the Lawrence Brook carvings endures. Our next journey takes us to a city steeped in history, Jerusalem. Here, beneath the bustling streets, archaeologists stumbled upon a remarkable discovery, a 1,000-year-old moat carved from solid rock guarding the ancient city walls. Carved into the stone as if frozen in time is a human handprint. A single handprint left there centuries ago during the tumultuous time of the Crusades. Who left this mark? Was it a mason leaving their signature on their work? Or a soldier taking a moment of respite amidst the chaos of war? We may never know the story behind the handprint, but its presence is a poignant reminder of the human lives that have unfolded within these ancient walls. Our quest for answers takes us from the ancient fortifications of Jerusalem to the sun-baked hills of Emek Tzurim National Park, also in Israel. It's here, amidst the ruins of a bygone era, that archaeologists unearthed a tiny treasure, a 1,600-year-old gold ring. This ring is a masterpiece of ancient craftsmanship, intricately crafted with dozens of tiny beads, each one painstakingly soldered together. How did this ring end up in the hands of someone living so far from its place of origin? The ring's delicate beauty and intricate design speak to a level of artistry and skill that continues to astound us today. Our journey takes a turn for the mysterious as we venture to the highlands of Colombia, to the town of San Bernardo. This sleepy town harbors a secret, a collection of naturally mummified bodies that defy easy explanation. Discovered in the 1950s, these mummies are remarkably well-preserved, their skin and clothing still intact centuries after death. What makes the mummies of San Bernardo so unique? Some whisper of ancient burial rituals, of secret herbs and techniques used to preserve the bodies. Others point to the diet of the deceased, rich in a local plant called guasca, as a possible factor. Scientists are still working to unravel the secrets of San Bernardo's mummies. We now find ourselves transported to the ancient Greek city of Paestum in southern Italy. 
Here, amidst the ruins of a once thriving metropolis, lies a tomb unlike any other, the Tomb of the Diver. This 5th century BC burial chamber is adorned with vibrant frescoes that depict scenes of feasting, music, and athletic competition. But it's the central fresco that gives the tomb its name and has baffled archaeologists for decades. The image of a young man diving gracefully into a swirling body of water. Some scholars believe it symbolizes the transition from life to death, a metaphorical leap into the unknown. The tomb of the diver is a mystery wrapped in a riddle, a testament to the enduring power of ancient art to captivate and confound us. Our quest for the unexplained takes us to the shores of the Mediterranean Sea, off the coast of Haifa, Israel. It's here, beneath the waves, that a tiny artifact surfaced, carrying with it a celestial mystery. The artifact in question is an ancient Roman bronze coin, dating back to the 2nd century AD. It depicts the Cancer Zodiac sign, a crescent moon, and the image of Selene, the Greek goddess of the moon. But there's something else on the coin, something that has archaeologists stumped, a bright star positioned prominently near the moon. The presence of this unexplained celestial object on the coin raises intriguing questions about the astronomical knowledge of the Romans and the significance of this particular celestial event. Our exploration of the past takes a grim turn as we journey to the rolling hills of Barry, Wales. Here, archaeologists made a chilling discovery, a Roman-era cemetery hiding a gruesome secret. Among the carefully arranged graves, they unearthed the skeletal remains of a Roman mercenary, buried with his decapitated head placed carefully at his feet. Was it a punishment, a ritual sacrifice, or perhaps a sign of respect for a fallen warrior? Some experts believe the practice might be linked to a pre-Roman Celtic pagan belief that saw the head as the container of the soul. The discovery of these headless mercenaries offers a chilling glimpse into the brutal realities of life and death in Roman-occupied Britain. We delve deeper into the shadows of history as we travel to the village of Rabel in Slovakia. Here, on a windswept plain, lies a Stone Age settlement that holds a dark and unsettling secret. Archaeologists excavating the site were met with a gruesome sight, a mass grave containing the headless remains of 36 individuals, most of them juveniles. Some experts speculate the killings were part of a primitive cult ceremony, a desperate attempt to appease angry gods or ensure a bountiful harvest. The discovery of the headless bodies of Rebel offers a stark and unsettling reminder of the violence that has plagued humanity since the dawn of time. Our pursuit of ancient mysteries leads us to the sun-drenched sands of Egypt, to the ruins of Taposiris Magna, a temple complex located near Alexandria. For centuries, rumors have swirled around this site, whispers of a hidden tomb, a tomb fit for a queen. The queen in question is none other than Cleopatra VII, the last active ruler of the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt. Her final resting place has remained one of history's most enduring mysteries, but a recent discovery has reignited the search. In 2022, archaeologists uncovered a massive tunnel system beneath the temple complex, stretching for over 4,800 feet and extending partially underwater. Could this be the long-lost tomb of Cleopatra? The anticipation is palpable as archaeologists carefully excavate the tunnel. Our final destination takes us on a journey through time to the ancient kingdom of Elam, located in what is now modern-day Iran. For over a century, scholars have struggled to decipher the enigmatic script known as Linear Elamite, a language used sporadically over 4,000 years ago. Inscribed on clay tablets and silver beakers, these mysterious symbols have tantalized linguists and historians for decades. But in 2022, a breakthrough emerged from the annals of academia. French archaeologist François Desay announced he had developed a method for reading linear Elamite, claiming to have identified 72 distinct symbols. 
The decipherment of linear Elamite could unlock a treasure trove of historical information, shedding light on the Elamites' culture, religion, and political structure. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating content. Let us know in the comments which archaeological find you found the most intriguing. Until next time, this is your name, signing off.